You watch the metal detector and PJ. Ever since I've been metal detecting, the government's pretty much mandated these pieces of shit. And they're pretty much mandated the old jab. But I want to mandate something way cooler. Let's ring these dickheads. Back is the mother rock guy. Hello? Hi, I was just here to speak to someone about pushing a mandate through. A mandate through for what, sir? Uh, metal detecting. Sorry? Metal detecting. Metal detecting. Mm, do, okay. you, do you go metal detecting? You sound like you do. <laughs> no, I don't. Why I not? Don't, Why not? Well, I'm in Perth. There's Where do you go metal detecting in the country? Or? There's plenty of gold in Perth. Unless, Is there? Have you, no. got, have you got, have you got, have you got, do they have the internet in Perth? Yes. And TV? Yep. And books? Yes. Well, you should know that then. Oh, should, should I? Okay, so... And I need to speak I need to speak to someone important. I'm just sick of speaking to all these peanuts. They can't even help me. You know, I'm pretty what sure I, I'm pretty sure I vote I'm pretty sure I voted you guys in and my whole family. Do you live in the Belmont? You I am Mr. Belmont. Are you kidding me? You're Mr. Belmont. Are you okay. kidding? How now, come I don't know you then? <laughs> you would. So you you would. Know? How am I going to get this mandate pushed through? Now, look, they got the face masks. That's fine. They got the jab. Bring it on. I love a, I love a good jab. But now let's just get the metal detecting. Everyone's got a metal detect once a week, and they've got to subscribe to Metal Detect with PJ on YouTube. And that's, mm. that, that's what they must do. Now, so it'll, now it'll, clean up, it'll clean up your beaches. Yeah. It'll aerate your soil. Litter will. Dr I've done extensive studies. Your litter will drop twenty five percent. Obesity will drop twelve percent. Obesity will drop as well. Yes, it will because people are out there metal detecting. Okay. Now, for years and years, metal detectors have just been shunned from society, and we've had enough. We've had enough. I want a mandate for it. I'll give it How much do these companies pay to get a mandate? What's the bribery these days? I'll I'll, I'll double it. I'll pay whatever these corporations are paying to get a mandate through. I've got 450 signatures here. Fair enough, they're all mine. But if I need 800, I'll go get another 400. And I want to get this mandate happening. Okay, so have you been in touch with your local member of parliament, Lucy uh, Rowe? Cassie's no good. All right, okay. That's why I'm ringing you. Sister's office. That's why I'm ringing you. Well, this is Cassie, is, uh, Samantha is Cassie's sister. Oh, have you ever seen Metal Detecting with PJ on YouTube? No, I haven't. I uh, haven't, to be quite honest, because the, the, coming from the bush, I um, metal detecting is only used for, you know, there's a lot of prospectors out there. Yeah, that's what I am. Mm. That, are, you, um, are, you sure, yeah. are you sure you're not a gold digger? You sound like one. Oh, gold digger. Thank you. Did you mean us in the true sense of gold digger or digging for gold? Take, I it, hope. take it how you want it. Oh, okay. Well, if you're going to be rude, there's no point in us having this conversation. Then. No, rude is only if you look at it being rude, it's rude, but it's not. We just haven't, we're really, why, this is what I mean. All the other peanuts I've rang have just hung up on me. Yeah, well, you put well, why, why don't, figures, you But know? why don't you want to clean the beaches? Let's make it compulsory. Why don't you put it in writing to my boss and then we can look at it properly? Yeah. At MP. Yeah, yes. Dot, dot wa dot gov dot au. Nah, give me your phone number. I prefer to ring her. You won't be able to ring her. She's in in at the ministerial office today. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, you can't do that. But um, I've worked for her for eight years, so I've got a fair idea of how she she works. So, um, you know what, what she would say to, is to get for you to put it in, send an email to her. You don't. It doesn't have to be a big elaborate one. It just has to set out your name, address, phone number, and exactly what. You, you want to. What about, do you like groundsmen? Groundsmen, oh. you know, groundskeepers? Well, I was thinking a part of an, against them, that's for sure. Well, I'm, I'm thinking a part of the mandate is we're allowed to kill them if they get in our way. Goodness me, groundskeepers. Because, they, you know what I mean? We wouldn't miss them. Well, no, I don't know why you would want to kill them. Because they're just constantly just in my face about digging holes in all the schools and parks. They're just in my face. Are they? And the sooner yeah, you legalise it, that I can just knock them off, the better. 
Well, you can't kill them because you'll end up going to jail for murder. I'm sure you don't want that. No, I'll just bl- um, I'll blame it on Grog Monster. Okay, well, how about um, putting it in, sending an email through to Sam, and I'll make sure she gets it. Well, how much money do I have to front for this bribery? How no, much do you take nothing. for bribery? How no, much no, do no, they... Which, which, well, all the other... You know when you do all your dodgy stuff, how much do they charge? I'll double it. We don't do anything dodgy here. It's all above board. Is it? Be very careful, otherwise we wouldn't have a job. We're accountable. Mm. So I'm not buying it. I'm looking I'm not, to receiving your email. I'm not buying it. Okay. What, what's your name again? What's your name first? Well, I'll tell you over dinner. No, you wouldn't go out to dinner with me. Um, Why not? No, because I'm a grandmother, so I don't think I've um, been working for members of parliament for many, many years, so I don't think I actually fit what you're looking for. All right, then. Well, so if, you're, we- if you're a grandmother, I'll take your mum. You can't take my mum. Why not? Dead. That's what I mean. I'm a metal detectorist. Okay, I'll, I'll look, de- I'm a metal detectorist. I've got someone else here as well, so I've got to go. So please send the email through. I look forward to receiving it. Thanks for your time. Okay. She's cool. Hannah, you know, do you go metal detecting? Metal? No, I don't. Why not? Why don't I know about that metal detecting? Oh, why don't you go? Sorry? Why don't you go metal detecting? It's just never been a hobby of mine. Well, I just think we need a mandate for everyone that so we have to go metal detecting because for many years now metal, metal detectors have been like cast-offs of society. And I think if we make a mandate that everyone's got to go metal detecting once a week, it'll change perception straight away. Okay, yep. Of people um, like, I, and I know metal detecting people are usually ugly and overweight, so if you could just keep that mandate of wearing the face mask over their faces so we don't have to see them. And another thing, if you make them go metal detecting, they'll probably lose a lot of weight. Okay. Yep. And get a lot no. fitter, get a lot fitter because, you know, if they if they don't, participate in the mandate then they just can't you know be teachers and i don't want them to you know have free dental and have jobs so they have to they have to go metal detecting once a week and another condition of the mandate is they subscribe to metal detecting with pj on youtube that's a must okay 450 signatures on a petition that we make this mandate compulsory metal detecting mandate how many how many signatures do i need um, I don't think there's a threshold. I mean, I got, I got four, I got four hundred. They're all mine. I, li- okay. I, li- I literally just sat there one day and just did four hundred and fifty different types of signatures. But um, I did all the fuckers myself. Right. Thank you uh, so much for that. I've actually got to go because we've got quite a lot of constituents calling us. Today. What's up with all the big fences around the schools? We can't get in there and metal detect. Yeah, schools are actually private property, so you're not allowed to go on to school sites. Oh, no. Yeah. Office, this is Adam speaking. Adam, how you going, mate? I just want to talk to someone about introducing a mandate. Can you make decisions or are you just a potato head? Uh, I'm just one of the staff in the office. Okay, so you're what, not, so you're not, you you're, so you're not really important. No. Uh, who do I speak to about pushing mandates through? Well, you know you got the face mask mandate and the jab mandate. I just want to introduce a metal detecting mandate. they got to metal detect once a week and subscribe to Metal Detect with PJ on YouTube. And it's compulsory. Do you just get my subs up and to get my spews up? When I say spews, I mean views, you know, get my views up. Mm-hmm. How do we pass this? Because for years now, metal detectors have been just cast off some from society they all think we're nerds they think we're weirdos but it's really good for your mental health and health and cleaning the beach you know cleaning all the rubbish mm-hmm. and what about after all these floods wouldn't that be good yeah yeah so you see where i'm getting at or you just think it's stupid stupid idea 
Um, I'm really not sure. It's complex in because I got 450 signatures to pass the man to help push the mandate through. 450. They're, mm-hmm. they're all mine. I did them all in one go, but I could get more if I need 800, 2,000. I'll get, I'll get as many as I need. I'm pretty dedicated to the cause. Mm-hmm. So who do I need to talk to about getting this mandate pushed through? I really don't know. Do you live in the Stratton electorate? Yeah, I live next door to your office. Uh-huh. I just couldn't get there because the floods. Right. Yeah, well, my, this area my, is not flooding. My kayak flooded away. And there are no houses next door. What do you think? Well, they got fucking face mask rubbish and jabs of who knows what. Why can't we just do that? I really don't know. I'm not... Uh... Do you go, Not Felix, sure. Felix? I'm just a potato head. You are, don't. <laughs> Do you go metal detecting potato head or not? No. Why not? What's your go? It's got, not a metal detector. You got your head in the sand like a potato. Yes. No, you no, don't, Felix. I'm not going to be mean like that. We're not going to start calling. You, I'm not going to start calling your names. But you don't even. You don't even sound like a potato head. You sound like a peanut. Oh, yeah? What's the difference between a peanut and a potato head? Potato's got more mush between his ears. Pe- yeah, well, that sounds like me. Felix, do you know any good YouTube metal detecting channels? No, I do not. What do you watch on YouTube? Fucking don't say William Powerfish or Aussie Man. Don't. No, neither of those. Well, what do you watch? Kevin Rudd's fucking ScoMo's YouTube channel. No, neither how, of them. How to steal money out of hard-working back man's pocket. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page. But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way